Live from the Caden Does Things studio, it's the inaugural Funko SDCC Awards! First annual Funko SDCC Awards. I'm your host, Caden Does Things. Now, it's been a okay year for Funko, but Funko SDCC is the real time for collectors. Will you get your favorite exclusive? Probably not, because that's probably someone else's favorite. Anyways, here we go with the awards. Tonight we have seven awards for you, so let's jump right into the first one. Our first award is for the hardest to find exclusive. And the nominees are Kang and Kudos from GameStop, Carl and Ellie from Box Lunch, the Toy Tokyo exclusives, and Red Chrome Vegeta at Hot Topic. And the winner is Toy Tokyo exclusives. Toy Tokyo exclusives this year included Ultraman, Rat Thing, Kato, and the Pez Clown. And I forgot to mention it at the top of the show, but all of these awards, the nominees were voted on by the viewers, and the winners were voted on by the viewers. So, if you're mad about any of the awards, blame yourself, not me. Our next award is for most likely to go on sale in the next few months. Let's see what the nominees are. The nominees are Cisco Ramon at Hot Topic, Jerry at FYE, Orange Conan at GameStop, and Red Chrome Vegeta. And the winner is Cisco Ramon at Hot Topic. Cisco Ramon is from the television series The Flash and is one of the most boring designs I've ever seen. Okay, let's keep this on a rolling on to our next award. The next award is for most disappointing announcement. The nominees are Star Wars, Marvel, Rick and Morty, and Anime. And the winner is Star Wars. Star Wars had only two exclusives this year, both chrome painted. It, is, it was the same for Star Wars Celebration. It's really going downhill. Yep, Star Wars was pretty bad this year, not gonna lie. A little bit of personal opinion there, but... Anyways, on to our next award. This is for the most Who Asked For This pop. This award was a little confusing in its concept, but it's the pop that made you go, why on earth would anybody buy this? I don't want it. Why does anybody else? And the nominees are... Orange Conan at GameStop. Blue Chrome Batman, also at GameStop, the Gold Painted Demogorgon at Barnes & Noble, and Ghost Gotenks at Box Lunch. And the winner is... Gold Demogorgon. This is Gold Demogorgon's first nomination and first win of the night. Very colorful round that one was. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of chrome. I wonder, I wonder if people maybe don't like the chrome painted ones. That's a, that's a possibility, isn't it? Anyways, we are now going to cut to a commercial break. Uh, stick around. Man, I'm so bored. I wish there was a game we could play. We could price gouge people out of their money just based on their interests. Yeah. Hey, kids. You sound like you could use the brand new game from Funko, Flipperoo. Flipperoo? What in the heck is even that? It's the game of ruining people's day. Pick a pint-sized hero and make your way around the board. Why pint-sized heroes? We, uh, we didn't sell very many of those. Uh... Anyways, make your way around the board and collect money, pops, and bots. I got a bot! Double the money! Scott Pilgrim! I got the FYE Thor! Yeah! But watch out! Incident spaces can lose you money! Uh-oh! Funko updates the website to get rid of bots! 
I got this one and it's all crumpled up. What does that mean? That, my boy, would be the Walmart shipping card. Uh, a spastic plastic? Nobody buys these anymore. What does this Nux card do? Uh-oh. Nux means you lose all of your money. My Hero Academia and Dragon Ball get new releases! I made it to the end! You haven't won yet. You and your opponent have to draw a Freddy Funko card. If you get a good Freddy, you win! What? I got the Robot Freddy! Freddy Vinyl? What? Uh-oh. Nobody wants Vinyl. You have to start all over. But I, but I thought I won! In the game of flippers, nobody wins! Man, screw this! I'm gonna go collect Nendroid! Flipperoo, coming soon to Walmart, and the Chrome version coming to Target. Welcome back, everybody! And now, for our final three awards, we're gonna jump with most forgettable pop of this convention. Will you remember this one in a few months? I doubt it. And the nominees are... Cisco Ramon at Hot Topic, The Gold Demogorgon at Barnes & Noble, Pating at Barnes & Noble, Quisp and Quake Vinyl at the Funko Shop, and HR Puff and Stuff at the Funko Shop. Now, I'm gonna come clean here. I did fudge the uh, nominees just a tad. I took two that I noticed nobody mentioned in any other nomination vote. HR uh, Puff and Stuff and the Quisp and Quake Vinyl Pack uh, yeah, I saw them nowhere, so I just, uh, threw them in most forgettable. But you know what's funny? There were some more forgettable that I forgot to put into the most forgettable category. Oopsie-daisy on my part. And the winner of that one is... The Gold Demogorgon. This was Gold Demogorgon's second nomination and second win of the night. And now we would like to remember the memory of some pops that were forgotten in votes and pops or lines that should have been at this con but weren't. Forever in our hearts. Truly heartbreaking. Anyways, now we have two awards left, the biggest awards of the night. And we're going to start off with Worst Pop of the Con. The nominees are Glutie at GameStop, Jerry at FYE, Gold Demogorgon at Barnes & Noble, and Red Chrome Vegeta at Hot Topic. And the winner is, with 49% of the vote, the winner is Gold Demogorgon. This is Gold Demogorgon's third nomination and third win. And now for the award you've all been waiting for, Best Pop of SDCC. Let's see those nominees. The nominees are Kang and Kudos at GameStop, Asuka at Hot Topic, Carl and Ellie at Box Lunch, and Rita Skeeter at Barnes & Noble. And the winner is... Kang and Kudos with 58% of the vote. This is Kang and Kudos' second nomination and first win of the night. Anyways guys, that'll wrap this up. Um, I hope you enjoyed the award show. I hope to do it again next year. Um, if you have any recommendations for awards we should do next year, uh, leave them in the comments. I do plan next year to think about um, fun days before I start work on this uh, project. 
is I totally forgot Fun Days, and Fun Days was a lot better than the comments. So, so uh, if you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment about a thing you'd like to see in next year's edition, and if you really liked it, subscribe. I made some other Funko videos, some uh, videos for a movie, uh, just some fun videos. I like to have fun on this channel. Anyways, guys, it sounds like they're playing me out, so I will see you next year.